I got in here as soon as the alarm was transmitted. They, uh, they were smelling smoke all through the building and different workmen on different floors tried to call in the alarm, but the phones were not working. 170,000 phones in lower Manhattan had been knocked out. So he screams to one of the workers, for the love of God, we have a serious fire. Flames erupted in the sub-basement of the Bell Systems building at 2nd Avenue and 13th Street. This lobby here gives me chills because this is where we all came from the building to exit the building. You could come to this building a year after a fire and still smell it. You could still, it lingered. It just lingered and permeated everything. The task of pulling out the destroyed cables begins. Yeah, Empire City Subway, New York tells people from out of state with us too. All working together. Most every firefighter who responded that day came down with significant illnesses and cancers due to the toxins they were faced with while responding to the call. Those people in the surrounding area were exposed to the same toxins as the firefighters and the 4,000 telephone company people that came in the next few weeks. Like I said, I was lucky, uh, stage three uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but I developed a cancer that was treatable. Uh, most people didn't. You know, it reminds me so much of 9-11 because they told us the air was safe, right? Yes. So the people came back to school, they came back to their residence, they came back to their offices. 3,500 Bell System men and women Work that would normally take years, accomplished 23 days after the fire. And I'm sure that there's been no concerted effort to reach out to all these people to find out how many of them got cancer, how many of them got respiratory illnesses, how many died. These people are in the dark. Well, that's why we're doing this, to memorialize the sacrifice of so many of your guys and your guys so that no one will forget.